Welcome. In a previous series of videos, I talked about how to install Synology Drive Admin on a Synology NAS and how to install Synology Drive clients on Mac, Windows, Linux, etc. So in this video, I'm going to talk about setting up Team Folder. And I'm going to do this on a Mac, and but it should be pretty much the same on Windows or Linux or other operating systems. So first you want to start off on your Synology NAS DSM and you want to go to your control panel and then go to shared folder and then we'll create a new folder and I'll give this a name I'll call it Rick makes team I'll disable my recycling bin I'll hit next I'll hit next again next again and apply and you can change those settings if you need to Next, it's going to ask us who should have permission to this, and I'm going to say me, Rick, and this John user. I'll say read, write. I'll hit OK. And now we have this folder made up. So we can close this. We can then go to our Synology Drive Admin console. We can click here on Team Folder. And then we want to find our new folder we made and enable that for uh, Team Drive. So here we can say enable version control, maximum is 32 versions, and there's different rotation policies. We can say from the earliest version, IntelliVersioning, and you can see that says use IntelliVersioning to determine which versions are more important and rotate versions of the lowest priority. And then you can say rotate versions regularly. So this deletes versions every day at midnight. So I'm just gonna do the default here. So hit okay. And it says, before performing sync tasks, make sure the user account used for syncing has appropriate permissions. Users with read-only privileges for the selected team folder can only sync the files from the server to their client devices, and any changes made on the client side will not be synced back. So that's what we first set up. So I'll hit OK here. We can close this now. I'll minimize this window. And if we go up here to our Synology icon, or you can open up the Synology Drive app, and we can go to our three dots here, and we'll go to Settings and we want to stay on sync tasks and we'll hit create here and it says where do you want to, the new sync task to be so we'll have our Synology NAS selected I'll hit next and it says sync a folder in my drive team folder I'll hit next and on the Synology drive we want to hit the little pencil here to edit and we want to choose our team folder and I'm going to choose the Rick makes team I'll hit OK then we want a local folder so I'll go to Users and My Name, I'll hit OK. It says this directory cannot be synced because one of the subfolders in the directory is being used in an existing sync task. OK, so I'll open that up. I'll just uh, choose Desktop here because I know that one's not used. I do a lot of the testing on here, so I probably already have something set up in there. So then we'll hit Done here. And now we have the Rick Makes Team uh, set up. It's on Users Rick desktop Synology Drive. So if we go into Synology Drive here, we should be able to move something in here and it should sync up. Okay. So now I have this remote desktop. This is another Mac I have. Let me make this full screen. And I made the background red so it's easy to understand. So this is John's computer. So I'll go up to the Synology icon here. I'll click Settings. And I'll do the same thing. I'll create, choose Synology NAS, Team Folder. I'll select the Rick Makes Team here. I'll select a local folder. I'll hit Done. So now I can close this, and we have the Synology drive here also. So here's the um, file we moved here. So I'll open up text edit, and I'll type this is a test. I'll save this, I'll save it out to this folder. I didn't get it. Okay, I'll just drag it in there. <laughs> so we dragged it in there. It says it's updating the client. 
So I'll disconnect from this desktop now. And I'll go back here and we'll see that the team drive now has the text file in it that we saved. So team drive, team folder is like uh, Synology drive that's shared with multiple people. So typically you would have like a file server and everyone would store their files on the file server and that works well. Um, but team folder would probably be good if you have a light server load and a lot of people work remote when they're offline. So then they can have a copy of everything in the team folder on their computer. So this would be good if you had like some letterhead template you wanted everyone in the company to use, maybe some graphics to use in presentations, things like that. You could put all those in the team drive and then everyone would have those on their computer and they could um, use those resources when they need them. So this doesn't replace a traditional server, it's just another tool that you have. So if you have any questions about setting up team drive, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.